M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Just a quick one here with the Uniden STS200. You can see the STS3600 image on the right hand side. We're hoping to get that working with a color screen as well. So this is the trial version of the ARC536 Pro. Uh, now this is quite a pricey software to buy. It's between sort of 50 and 70 pound for the Pro version, about 30 pound for the basic version. But with the Pro version, you get this screen now. How have we connected this to the software? All you do is when you plug in your cable into, into this particular device, uh, into the USB, to upload the, you know, the different files to the SD card in the normal way, like your, your, your favorites and all that, as you can see here on the left, you, you, you select the E and then enter, and you're like a big uh, SD card then. But to interface with it live, uh, you need to select the, the sort of network uh, connection, or should I say the serial connection. So when you plug the cable in, you press the no, and it will, you'll see the screen appear here. And now we've got full control, as you can see, we can scan now. As it's scanning there, we can select everything here on the menu as well. If we hold it there, like so, and then we can should be able to type a frequency into so one, four, five, uh, dot six hundred, and again, and then select enter with the E, and then we're going to go yes to add it to our favorites. And we're now, yes again, and we're now listening to 145600. We could, we could give it a name if we want. Just double click that, enter. You're always pressing the enter. And we can give a name here if we want. Edit name, enter, like so. Name exists. Okay, I'm just gonna put enter for now and then back out completely by pressing the squelch button. Now I literally just just selected this. So if I get a bit stuck, we we'll look at all these choices we've got here. Scan mode, close core mode. We'll do some longer videos on this. I just wanted to, wanted to show you this working system. Departments and channel. There's our squelch there. Squelch two volume, and we can mute it. We can go into some of our favorites here, start looking at what we've got. Now to select the screen, we press SDS on this model. On different models, you, you select BCD. We can read and write. Let's try reading now. Now it might ask me to, to I'm gonna click read. Yeah, it's, gonna, it's, it's not detecting it because it wants me to go back into the sort of SD card mode, but that's okay. And then we've got, let's look at some options. Open files here when you're in that mode. Cut, copy, paste internet, read, write, tools, open calculator, notepad, setup, internet, their options, all these. So for now, I think we'll leave it as that. We can, we've got a link here to radio reference as well. Check, fill. So let me learn about this software. This is the other interface that, that we've got. Now I've got, I, 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 rec, I, I think that is for different radios, not the SDS 200. At the moment, that's the SDS 200 deck. Can you see it says BCD models or SDS models? So I'll have to look up what the BCD models are. But right now, it seems to be working fine. We've got a signal meter there as well. What's this one here? See that? I'm clicking that. I'm not sure I can turn that. Does it move with this? So give me some time to suss it out. But thanks for watching my channel. And if we can get the STS3600 to have a color screen, thanks to this software, then I think, uh, I think it's a worthwhile investment. You can see there's a live log here as well as, as, th as items and frequencies are being received. If we hit scan here, starts to scan, live scan there. I'm guessing we could probably select the audio to come from the PC as well. Avoid replay menu there. That's your main menu. Zip. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, enter your zip menu. If we go back, back out completely, then go zip. Should be able to put in our zip code. Yeah, there you are. And we can update the whole database, USA and Canada. Go back. Let's hit the service one. Select service, so we can select our service that we want to do as well. You go back by hitting menu. 
up and down arrows there, F. That's the function key. Look, see the function key lighting up? Function. And we could probably select close call. If we go function, let's try it. There's a little F appears at the top left, and then hit the silver button. It should go into close call mode. It does on the actual radio. Let's do that again. Function, close call. No, let's hold it first then. Ah, no, I think it did function. Then we hit close call here. So if we get a strong signal now, we should hear it. Pretty sure we're in close call mode. Do it again, function, close call. Function, close call. Function, close call. So for now, thanks for watching my channel and uh, more later, 7-3, all the best.